Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Project Zomboid, shall we? Picking up where we left off with our complete beginner's guide, and I got some just amazing advice, as always, from you fantastic folk in the comments about reloading, about a generator, and I'm excited about that. So what I'm going to do is turn off this car and get out. And I'm going to just kind of poke around and see how close zombies are to me. It's hard to see. It is dark. I left the headlights on. Not my best move. And let's just kind of zoom in and scope it out. All right, there is somebody coming here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and switch to my fork and just take this one down. Make sure there's nobody else. Okay. And there is someone else. Alright. Now, I quickly want to get in the car and uh, make sure I turn off the lights here. I don't want to destroy the battery. Alright. So, you know, one thing I wanted to check, and you know what, I'm so tired, I gotta go home. I was gonna keep exploring and having fun, but, um, it just isn't the right time. I'm not gonna be able to fight well because I'm so sleepy, and I need to probably get some more grub. Not to mention, uh, load all these magazines in a place that's safe. Okay. Uh, I think I'm actually turning... Yeah, that's not the right way. It was interesting. When I was in reverse, the headlights kind of illuminated the car from the back. Interesting. All right, please don't hit your own car. Good. We're low on gas here, but we can top this baby off. Oh, boy, that's going to hit the fence. That's some good driving. A little bit of damage to the front end after that. Okay. Not my best work. You know, if you haven't driven a car in this game in a while, sometimes turning right and left is... Uh, not the direction you expect. But we're making it. Car's a little noisy. That's okay. Turn him right here. Yeah, headlights off. Oh, I left the car running. Okay. There we go. All right, let's get inside and let's rest. Check on our vegetables and stuff. All right, so, do I have any food? You know it. I'm going to go ahead and sleep. All right. So let's see about this. First of all, 9mm box. If I click on this, I can open it up like this, unpack it, and then you could see, um, you know, 
I can open these up, of course. But what I want to do is go to these magazines. And can you show me? Yep, it shows you the ammo count of each one. So I can say, you know, insert bullets into that magazine. So that one's full. And I don't have any bullets, so what we'll do is open all of these boxes of rounds and load it up. Ah, this is great. This is going to make everything so much easier. Okay, tremendous. Um, okay. Now this gun is about to break, so let's go get a different 9mm. What do I got over here? Hmm, not to be honest. Not many of these are doing as well as I'd hope. But there's so many of these around that I just probably haven't taken. Here, let me go over here. Let's see what we got. What's over here? Nothing there. Oh, because I was using it. Right. Um, oh, here's a bunch. Okay, and these are in, like, really perfect condition. Um, great. Just grab one. What's in this gun case? Nothing. What's in that bag? Zero? Okay. But we have some other types of weapons here. Okay, so this pistol... I'm going to um, eject the magazine from it. And then the pistol that we have equipped, um, I'm going to just put this over here. And then I'm going to... Um, I need to, another gun to repair it. That's interesting. Oh, it's got a red dot upgrade. I didn't even see that. Attached to my holster. Yeah. So this gun... I mean, supposedly it's putting a red dot on stuff, which I guess could be good and bad, but I'm just going to go ahead and load it up. So now I have a stack of five magazines. Let me see this. There are indeed two that are empty, so let's try to load up as much as we can. Now I could do a double holster if I want to bring like another gun along, which seems like exactly the kind of thing you want to do. Um, it looks like it's still equipped, even though I um, wore the other one. So what other pistol do I want? What magazines do I have? I have 144, 145. Uh, okay, I have M14 magazine. Well, I have a Desert Eagle. I have two magazines for it. And these are 44 caliber. Okay. Well, this Magnum takes 44 rounds. Attach holster left. And then I'm going to see, just grab all of these and see if that's exactly what we need. All right, so if I were to switch to the Magnum, how many bullets does this thing have? Six. And then... open these boxes and then can you insert bullets now i am but i don't know if they'll th these look like they're for a desert eagle and not for this gun now i don't know enough about guns to know if that's true or not 
but I'll pretend. Yeah, this just uses shells, but doesn't have magazine. All right, let's see if I actually have a Desert Eagle. Here it is. Attach holster left. And now... I can load this baby up. We'll go ahead and put this in there. And... We have so many rounds. Oh, is this going to hurt me because it's stale? Yeah, it'll make me unhappy, but you can eat it. Get real. He got bored from eating that. Now, I'm still... Um, I still have too much because I have two guns, I think. And I have this thing this on my back, so... Okay, so I'm only slightly over-encumbered, but now, you know, I've got a lot of firepower. Sweet. All right, so let's just roll up here and check out how the old garden is doing, huh? Um, so I'm going to get some info here. These are ready for harvest. Ready for harvest. Uh, seeding carrots. Seedling, rather. Ready for harvest. Ready for harvest. Okay, so this stuff's ready for harvest, but it doesn't look like there's any seeds yet emerging, and that's fine. How's the generator doing on the power? 59%. That's not great. So, um, grab all these gas cans. We have a job. And I need to turn it off. And I need to add um, fuel. And we need to turn it on. How much gas is left? Very little. But the question is, is it enough? to get me back into town. Now I have other cars. I have more gas. But I got a special place in my heart for this car that I've wrecked. Let's add some gas. Oh, I actually have a lot of gas on me. I didn't realize that. All right, good. Well, let's open up the trunk, and we will take these gas cans and put them in here. This old holster can go in there. This can go over there. Good. Good. You know what? I want to leave. I'm, I'm really close. But I need to get some more water. And I need to get some fresh broccoli. Gonna fill my bottles. You never know.
wonderful. And then let me just go in here. Well, what about in the fridge? Man. Oh, that's right. People were telling me I need to get bowls so I can portion that out better. Makes sense. All right. So hopefully that'll thaw out properly. I don't really know how that works. We're going to find out. All right. Now let's go back into town. Want to check on the potential generator. And if there is no generator, we'll go someplace else. And find another one. We got about half a tank in here. Pretty good. Oh boy. All right. Sorry, car. All right. Okay. Whoa. All right, that corpse pile almost <laughs> flipped my car. Eh, it happens. It's cool. All right. I'm going to pull up a little bit more. Well, there's another one of my mini vehicles. Oh, okay. All right, there's a lot of zombs. So here's what we're going to do. This was a tip that was given to me. One thing you can do to help with your car is use the back of it to run over zombies instead of the front, if possible. Okay, that was a tree. That's not doing it right. Here we go. That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. I gotta be careful here. I gotta get more speed. I'm telling you, it's not bad. All right. Working on aiming. Kind of. One zombie at a time.
And by one zombie at a time, apparently I meet about 400 zombies at a time. <laughs> nice. All right, let me go test this. First of all, how are we doing? Various stages of ammunition left. Man, I do want this car, too. Alright, so... Somebody told me that, this gen that there was a generator in here. In the shed. Now, I didn't see one, but maybe they meant a different shed. Alright, so let's look. Well, I mean, there were several areas that I went through. There's sheds over here. Or maybe at the construction site. But I certainly didn't see one inside that building, unless they look different than what I expect. Oh, okay, we got a lot of guys here. Boy, they hate me trying to get this van. Well, we're going to circle around all of these guys at some point. Leave them in the dust. I certainly don't see anything that great here. Except this awesome purple car. Boy, they really followed me. You hate to see it.
I mean, this crawler is absolutely adamant on finding us. You gotta appreciate their tenacity. I mean, you don't really, but... Get it. Just has no gas. All right, fine. But that's sad. All right. You know what you do in a spot like this? Is you hop in your ridiculous car about to fall apart and we drive on hi guys it's me again all right so i'm just gonna kind of move the map and get back into it so let me just put a x right there so no generator there but we can also look for survivor houses like see the house with the gun right here that's definitely a possibility um somebody was telling me in the comments that sometimes in the closets they have them so i think we could do a better job searching there and maybe find some more bullets we have all of these houses too that we really haven't gone through Looks like a happening neighborhood. Oh boy, that's a lot of zombies. Jeez. Man, when when the car doesn't do enough, it's alarming. Alright, the car is too noisy, attracting too much attention. I'm going to pull it over here. Oops, here, get back in. Got to turn it off first. Alright, I'm going to try a different gun. I'm going to have some fun with a Desert Eagle. Okay, this is supposed to be a 44 caliber weapon. <laughs> Come on. You can't take a shot and then not go down. That isn't how this works. Ah, uh, this is probably just what happens when you're not very good with guns. So this house is boarded up. How did I get in here before? Somebody's trying to get into it. I 
I feel like I've been in this house before, but I don't recall how. Or maybe I just marked it, you know, knowing what it is, and I never went inside. It's cool, though. This house is for sale. Well, you know what happens when a house is for sale. Means they've got a lot of good stuff on the inside. Empty. Oh boy. They're already on to me. Well, let's just kind of test out how we're doing at some of these other structures. Yeah, they're through the window. Scrap electronics, pen. Yeah, the whole house, I mean, probably is empty if they were... moving. Hmm, we have a few books. Oh, the first floor shower. Interesting. Cat toy, dog food. Baseball shirt. All right. Well, I came in this room. Okay. There's a lot more uh, zombies in there than I was expecting. Here I am. On foot again. Oh boy. These houses are occupado. There is a shed over here though, I think. Or no, this is just a really small little bungalow. Looks like it has lights. Am I just imagining that? Maybe it's just a evening sun? Oh, okay. Oh, this house burned down. Oh, you hate to see it. <laughs> All right, well... Not entirely unexpected, but... Nothing ultra-promising over here. Starting to get a little bit tired. That Survivor House actually does look really promising. The issue with it is that... Um, it's boarded up. Close line. Let's check these crashed cars. Maybe there's something cool in there. Never know. Oh, empty gas can. That's kind of useful sometimes. Duct tape is definitely useful. 
Just double checking. I left my car right over here. Yeah, I figured there'd be a few zombies guarding my vehicle. run there. Alright. Let's go. Well, it does appear that there is a little shed over here too. So... I'm going to pop into some of these houses, see what's going on. Unfortunately, lots of zombies. Ah, there's lots of zombies still coming. I'm going to have to go back. But that was scary. That's not when you want the car to not work. I'm going to have to come back this way, I think, to check some of this. Ooh, there's another car. Ooh, the car stalled, too. Also not good. Well, everyone, we have a whole new neighborhood here to search, uh, and we're going to poke through this and get into it next time. I want to say thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Thank you for sharing all of your tips, and I will check you guys in the next episode. We did a good job, um, you know, loading our magazine, shooting a bunch, exploring, getting into some harrowing situations, and then just kind of driving away. Take care, everyone.